So this is the morning of, like, I know I'm gonna propose to her. She has no idea at this point. So I'm watching this documentary. We're sitting together. I have all these thoughts going through my mind about the day, and she has no idea. He's very sneaky. <laughs> he one day was like, let's just go do some Christmas shopping. And then he made up some excuse to get us close to the bookstore where we met. I basically said, hey, let's go do the shopping and trying to get everything to lead to the bookstore. We got to the bookstore. We sat like pretty much where we sat the day that we met. Bartenders were in on it. And uh, so we start talking to the bartenders. One of them distracts her. I told him, all right, dude, give me a couple seconds. Go back and tell her to, you know, he wants to show you something. He walked over there and I'm still talking to the other bartender. And um, and then the one who was with Salim came back and he said, Salim found a book he wants to show you. She looks to her left and there's nothing there except more like rose petals. And then she looks to her right. I'm at the end of the aisle. I just started crying because <laughs> I knew. And I looked at him and I was like, what? Here? No. He got down on one knee and he didn't say, will you marry me? He said, Lara, will you be my wife? She said yes, and then we just hugged and kissed, and we just got like so lost in the moment that he didn't even put the ring on my finger. <laughs> she goes, "Are you gonna put the ring on me?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm put the ring on you." So and everybody was cheering, and everybody was in on it too, except for me. But it was very beautiful, very thoughtful, just like he is.
had the absolute pleasure of being that gentleman back there, one of his best friends for the past 26 years. When he walks into a room, he's always having a good time and making sure the people around him are having a good time. And on top of that, he's also the guy who always plays it cool. And Casey summed that up by calling him the Arabic James Dean. And Celine, you know I love you. It's such an honor and a blessing to call you not just a best friend, but a brother. And you have found something extremely special in Lara. Lara, I don't even know where to start. You simply are amazing. You have this amazing warmth that envelops a room whenever you're in it. And I, I want you to know that while that, that warmth has clearly touched Salim's heart, it's also touched the heart of all of his friends and family. To Mr. and Mrs. Salim Shalit, we love you, God bless, cheers. Obviously it's an extremely joyous occasion. I couldn't be more proud of my nephew. Uh, quite frankly, I was a little worried about him. I think he's doing all right. Knowing the pool of friends you have, the caliber of men, the character that they are, they have and possess, uh, it's a complete honor to be your one of your best men. I appreciate it. Uh, it does say a lot, given that crew back there and the crew you grew up with. So I can only hope and pray that my kids, my nephews and nieces, my little cousins, look to you and strive to be just like you, Sadiq. Very proud of you, Sadiq. Day in and day out. is one look and you know exactly what I'm thinking. You're not only my older sister, but my soulmate. I'm so incredibly lucky to have had you by my side growing up and for the rest of my life. Salim, I don't know how you managed to weasel your way into her heart, but you're stuck with us now. I'm your little sister forever. You are the most giving, kind-hearted man, and I cannot imagine a better man by my sister's side for the rest of your life. I feel so blessed to have been a part of watching your love grow. And I'm really so excited to see where your lives lead you. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. God bless everyone and cheers. things I talked about doing in my life, the things that I thought about doing in my life, I don't know if I could do them without her by my side and, and with me. And she brings so much more meaning into my life. If there's one thing that I want Slim to remember for the rest of his life, it's that he's not alone. He has me in his court, he has me by his side. I want him to never feel like he's walking through life alone.